Christoph, and also I want to ask the problem with us in the large publisher, you know, we have a lot of things to do, right? And then, in, uh, in, and the fact is, our resources are also limited, right? The engineering also limit, the SEO specialist also, only some of them, right? right? Uh, how you do that? Yeah. You, you say that you already uh, have experience with the, in 20 years in yes. the media, right? Yes. Yeah, can you share to us? Sure. Well, um, 15 years ago, uh, it was hard to do uh, because yeah. there were no tools to help uh, SEOs and engineers to actually make things. That's one of the reasons why Barify was founded actually mm. uh, 10 years ago. It was to help these SEOs to be successful. And so one of the thing, two of the things important that we do today to help the market is one, with the help of AI and machine learning especially, we can look at thousands of data points and identify very quickly the things that are important. That mm. was not possible 10 or 15 years ago. Mm. And so now our customers who are using Barify can use Barify intelligence to know very quickly what is important on their website and to be alerted proactively when something bad happens and they need their attention. Mm. So they don't have as SEO to always be behind every release on their website to know if something is broken. Mm. The system will automatically uh, alert them if something is broken. That's one piece there. But the other piece is true to your point about engineering resources. Mm. There are so many uh, priorities. Mm. Um, how do you know which one is more important than another? And more importantly, how do you implement all of these things? What we've developed at Botify is a technology that helps our customers to actually implement directly on their website through Botify. Mm. So we, in, we act as an interface between search engines and websites, and we help um, the websites to actually optimize directly. That saves them engineering resources. Mm. They can implement things through Botify. They can test also a lot of things through Botify instead of having to rely all the time on engineering resources. Yeah. And suddenly, with all of this, we think there is a point where now SEO can actually be an actionable channel. Because now you can identify things very quickly, mm. you can decide what you want to do, and you can implement these things directly in Botify. And so some things that could have taken months before of research and work and backlog management with uh, a lot of stakeholders can now be done in days. Okay. So what, what, what's the difference with the other tools, I think? Because I think other tools also offering that kind of feature, the similar feature, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so yeah, so good question. So. Yeah. Today on the market, the reality is that when you look at enterprise websites and you look at everything from analyzing all of the metrics on your websites, looking at what is important to do, the AI um, mm. layer, and then being able to actually make the changes for you, mm. no one else is doing all of this on the market. You are going to find a lot of point solutions who might be doing some aspects of that, mm. but nothing is going to help you to do everything at once. And that's why today we work with the biggest brands out there. Um, and these brands come to us because they want a solution that's going to help them from a technical standpoint, but also from an expertise standpoint. Mm. We have in the APAC, but also in the US and Europe, teams of experts who know how to um, leverage our platform and SEO to help all of these brands, mm. publishers, e-commerce, marketplaces, to be successful. Okay. And also, uh, Christoph, we, our, our reader here also come from, they, they also manage a uh, small website, I think. Yeah, or own blog. Do you have some advice for them to be, you know, like a uh, publisher have thousands yeah. pages every day, right? <laughs> so how they can win the competition? Yes. You, you can have uh, some advice for the yeah, it's small a, website. It's a great yeah. question. Mm. It's much harder today than it was 20 years ago for small websites, unfortunately. For small websites today, they are at a disadvantage because Google tends to prefer bigger websites. Yes. Uh, so my recommendation for smaller websites would be to focus. Authority is very important. Authority. Um, authority, yes. The ability to really be on one specific topic, you are the expert. Mm. And you create content around this topic. For small websites, it's much harder today, for example, to start talking about everything and expect Google to pick it up and rank you everywhere for everything. That's mm. not going to happen very easily. Yeah. So my first recommendation is to create valuable content with authority on a given topic where you're really the expert and you're adding value also to, to the mm. market, to the users mm. uh, at the end. And that's what Google is, uh, is trying to do, is ultimately trying to put users with questions with the best content out there. So we need to ha have authority in the, uh, our niche, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay. So, and then I think last question for us here. Uh, what is your prediction for the future of SEO? You, uh, you know, now, uh, like social media also can search, right? Many people 
not if if they want to searching for something, they are not uh, looking for Google, and they are just type it in the social media. That's true. Yeah. Uh, they are they can change the habit the people, or they can change the future of SEO. What yeah. do you think? Yeah, that's true. I mean, the um, social media, but that's true also with um, shopping platforms uh, yeah. are taking a lot more of the traffic uh, mm. from users as well. Um, and still, with the market growing so fast, the, the share of organic search and the share of, um, of searches on search engines is still big. So, for example, uh, I was looking uh, in Singapore yesterday on the data and 52% of users start their searches on, on Google for brands yeah. against 45% uh, of people looking for brands on social media. And so we still see that search is very important uh, for a lot of people there. And it's still a growing uh, market. Mm. But it's a more difficult market because there is more competition. Mm. It's more difficult to be, uh, to be at the top of the pages. Mm. And so to be successful, brands need really to spend time analyzing everything and having the tools to be able to do this efficiently. That's what we're trying okay. to offer. So, so SEO still not die, yeah? Huh? It's not now. dead yet. No, it's growing <laughs> not fast. Yet. Yes. It's growing, yeah? Yeah, it's still growing. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Christophe, for, uh, uh, for your information today. Yes, happy to see you today. Thank you. Hope you can success in the future. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Teman-teman, itulah uh, perbincangan singkat kita dengan Christophe uh, from Botify. Yeah. Semoga bisa bermanfaat. Semoga bisa, apa ya? Menambah, menambah ilmu, menambah pengetahuan bagi teman-teman, bagi pecinta SEO. Dan semoga apa yang kita bagikan di sini bisa uh, berkenan. Dan kalau teman-teman suka ataupun merasa informasi ini bermanfaat, bisa share, bisa komen di bawah juga. Uh, kira-kira apa yang menurut teman-teman bagus, ataupun kira-kira teman-teman mau tanya apa juga boleh. Nanti kita sampaikan kepada Christoph dan timnya. Oke, okay, kita... Tutup sampai saat ini, kita ketemu lagi di episode berikutnya. Bye.